G'day, I'm back, finally. I missed this little episode. I've got the geese in the background. I've got the same uh, editor-in-chief out the front and I've got the Barry Gibbs haircut with the fedora. The fedora's back. Of course, it doesn't fit, but that's got nothing to do that I've got a poof head. Now, we're releasing a range of wines that's all based on my family. Um, it's called The Gaggle by Merrill. It's exciting. We put an enormous amount of work into this. My stepdaughter has been involved in the graphics and each single goose on the label represents a family member. So the Dancing Queen Riesling is about my wife Annie, who's a real party girl and she just uh, won't let me go home when I need to. The uh, Chardonnay is uh, named after my eldest daughter Georgina, so it's Georgie May Chardonnay. The Rosé is named after Charlie Merrill, who's general manager here and editor-in-chief and that is um, Charlie Rose Dry Rosé. It's an outstanding wine. Then we get the Shiraz Cabernet, which is called Saint Nick, uh, after my son who's um, now locked down in Melbourne, poor bugger. The back labels are all very interesting. You know, in Saint, Saint Nick's case, Saint Nick the little prick sits under a green ash tree laughing at me. All of the back label stories are, are really irrelevant because the amount of rubbish that's written on back labels throughout this country and the world, most people wouldn't understand them. And they're less likely to understand what I've written, um, but they're fun. And the final one is Grumpy Gramps. That's me, ha ha, grumpy pigs I am. This is a unbelievable wine. All of these wines are fresh. They're designed to meet with a younger generation of people, but also to cope with us dinosaurs, me included, who love really good quality wine, fresh and vibrant. They all have a catch cry. They're being launched on the 1st of September. There's some fantastic um, social media stuff that goes with it, even cartoons. We've done an enormous amount of work with this and uh, I really hope you enjoy these wines because I haven't been excited about a release of wines for, for a long time. The Jeff Merrill range will stay. There's no real reference to the scales on these wines because we're trying to not dissociate ourselves from the style of wines that Jeff Merrill makes. We've endorsed these wines by calling them by Merrill. But these are a, a kind of leap away from the styles that we've been making there. They're younger, fresher, more vibrant where the other wines have been made to bottle age and they have their place in society as well. So I encourage you to try these wines. It'll make you have a youthful zing, a zip about your step. And anyway, as usual, go buy my wines so I can feed the geese. Bye. As usual, I forget something. If you'd like to join us here on the 13th of September, 12.30 sharp, we're going to be doing a conducted tasting on these wines and there will be pizza available and uh, a glass that you can take away with you and it's for the paltry sum of 40 bucks. So get in quick because it's going to sell out and there'll be social distancing. See ya.